Hey guys, good evening. Welcome to day five of my journey using the New Skin HLOC TR90 Weight Management and Body Reshaping Program. Um, today is December 21st and it's the first day of winter, although you will not even uh, notice uh, here in, in Atlanta by going outside because it is literally 67 degrees out there today. And, uh, so it doesn't feel like the first day of winter, but it is the first day of winter. And uh, today has been a really, really busy day for me. Um, I started the uh, morning by going to the doctor to uh, get my blood work. Uh, remember, guys, I think I told you guys uh, yesterday that uh, when I first started the uh, program, I wanted to create a baseline uh, on and wanted to do some blood work. And when I went to get my blood work from from the doctor a couple days ago, they failed to do the ones that I really wanted to get is the triglyceride. Try, I forget how you say that. The one that's with it starts with a T. Uh, also, the the cholesterol and a few other things. So for some reason, they just forgot to do that for me. And so I had to go back this morning. I got up really early in the morning. Uh, did not eat anything. Went there and got my blood test. So hopefully, I'll get those numbers back uh, sometime next week. They say maybe around Tuesday or Wednesday. So as soon as I get those uh, numbers back, I'll 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 make sure that I will share the uh, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> so hopefully it won't be too ugly. Um, I'm a little concerned about my cholesterol, uh, my my cholesterol level. So we'll see what what happens with uh, you know uh, with with that. So once I got the blood test, um, I had to come back and like. Millions of us today, we um, had to go out and finish my uh, Christmas shopping. So, and but I didn't realize uh, one of the things that kind of caught me by surprise is that I needed to plan for the day on uh, on my food, uh, how long I was going to be gone. Because remember, part of the program is you need to take um, you know you need to take certain pills. For example, you have the uh, fit, the fit pills, and then the control pills. You take the control in the morning and in the evening, and then uh, you take two of the control in the morning and the evening, and you take the fit pill uh, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once in the evening, and then you have to take the uh, shake that comes with the program. You do this twice a day. I am doing it in the morning, and I'm also doing it in the afternoon. So with that, uh, right before uh, uh, my wife and I were going to go out and do the Christmas shopping, I realized that I wasn't prepared. And I now I recognize that I need to do a better job in planning my days if I'm going to be leaving the, uh, the house. What I'm going to need... Um, so... It kind of in a in a quick snap, I decided to add the the shake that I was going to have in the afternoon and put it in a little baggie with me. Um, instead of taking the ba the 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 uh, bottles of the pills, I just uh, took the one pill that I needed for the afternoon because I knew I was going to be gone until right before dinner. So I took the one pill that I was going to need and put it also in in a baggie and brought with me my good old loyal uh, shaker where you put your, your milk, I like to put in milk, uh, put your, your shake in there, you shake it and then, then you, you, uh, you uh, drink it. Uh, and also you need to be conscientious of where you're going to go and where you're going to be and what's going to be around you that allows you to select the best places for you to go have lunch. For me, I knew I was going to be out there I didn't have a chance to plan or bring anything with me uh, because, you know, I wasn't thinking. So now I know that I need to plan my days, especially if, I, if I'm going to be out of the house, uh, get that stuff ready because if you don't get it ready, guys, it's just going to set you up for failure. It's going to set you up uh, to get back into the habits or the old habits, you know, get you into that temptation mode. Uh, and it, you know, if you don't have a plan when you go out there, it's just gonna set you up for, for failure, yeah, in my opinion. So, 
highly recommend to understand the night before where you're going to go, where you're going to do, what you're going to do, how long you're going to be gone, so that you can make all the preparations, you know, plan ahead, get your stuff ready. Uh, you know, if you're doing a, 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 a protein powder or, or if you're doing the TR90 like I am doing uh, from, from New Skin or whatever program you're in, I highly recommend you guys just go ahead and plan your days ahead. Uh, and at the beginning, like what happened to me, it, I was just surprised that, that, you know, right before we were leaving that I needed to do this. And now, now I know. And at the beginning, it's going to be hard. you got to be... You know, it's muscle memory. It's not in my it's not in my muscle memory yet uh, to to be thinking ahead and bringing with me the things that I need for me to be successful in my journey in uh, losing the weight that I need to uh, lose. So, uh, and also what I felt is when I went to lunch and I went to Chipotle today, uh, you know, and. You know, I I actually did the uh, the uh, salad. The, the salad bowl, um, a little bit of the brown rice, to, you know, told them to put just a little bit of the cheese because in my opinion it's probably not low fat cheese but just went ahead and added a little bit of the cheese. Asked for the sour cream on, on the side. So I knew the location where I was going to be and I knew that Chipotle was going to be right around that area. Uh, um, close to where we, we were shopping so I knew that that was going to be the best place for me to go and stay within somewhat the parameters of, of a healthier eating you know I know there may be some discussion about you know the, the sodium or or whatever else it might be but uh, for me at that point in time was the best choice that I you know I didn't do the wrap I didn't do the flour tor uh, tortillas or a burrito or anything like that didn't load it up with a bunch of cheese and sour cream and all you know guacamole and all the other stuff that is bad for you. So, so again, one of the things that I learned is that you just kind of prepare your days ahead of time. You know, just plan around it. Know where you're going to be, what's available to you. Because once I sat down for lunch, I don't know, call it a, a security blanket or not, but when as soon as I took my little cup, my shaker, and I added my protein. Uh, or my, my shake uh, from New Skin, the TR90 weight management and body reshaping uh, shake, I added to this and it was kind of a security blanket. It was a reminder for me that I am in a journey. I'm in a journey for me to help myself get back to where I used to be. And this was a reminder that if there's failure is not an option, that I needed to stick with it. Uh, and you know, I had it right there in front of me, and I'm so thankful that I brought it with me. Because if I didn't bring this with me, if I didn't bring the uh, shake with with me, if I didn't bring the pills that I needed to bring with me, I, I get a feeling it would have been very easy for for me to go. You know what? What's a day, right? What's one moment? What's one meal? And the problem is that for the last three years, that one meal has turned into two meals, and then that, it turned out to three bad meals, and then all of a sudden I'm having a full three years of just bad, bad behavior, uh, and and you know that's the things that we need to change in in in, in ourselves. So again, I still feel great. Uh, uh, I still have a little bit of that headache as my body's going through the detox, but it's not as bad as the last four days. So it's kind of going away. Uh, I seem to be sleeping much better, feel great. I'm definitely not hungry at all by any means. Um, last night I did have a little bit of a craving, and, uh, it, and I believe that's because of the detox cycle that I'm going through. And also, I think part of the problem is that I decided to stay up too late. So if you stay up too late, uh, you know, it was almost 11 o'clock, 11.30, well, maybe almost 12 o'clock by the time I decided to go to bed. And that's just, you know, you're asking your body, you know, you eat dinner around 7 o'clock, you might eat a, a, a fruit around 8 or 9 o'clock. That's still an extra three hours that your body is just sitting there. And your mind still, you know, begins to wonder, and, and I'm like, well, you know, I wonder if I can eat this or eat that. So uh, another lesson learned for me: try to go bed to to bed a little bit earlier, uh, so you can prevent those moments from 
from uh, happening. So overall, it was a great day. Did a lot of shopping. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's just you know bags over there with all the Christmas presents. So just sort of exciting. What's uh, what's ahead of me uh, with Christmas? I'm also a little bit nervous, to be honest with you, because there's going to be so much temptation uh, uh, in front of me, and I'm just wondering how I'm going to react to that. But again, it's all about preparation and planning ahead to make sure you're setting yourself up for success. And one of the reasons I wanted to start this right now is because it is the hardest time. You know, New Year's might be it might not be the hardest time, but now it is the hardest time because there's so much stuff ahead of you with food and, and so forth. So why not do it now? Just jump in, make make better choices, uh, make better decisions with your food, and you'd be surprised what's going to happen. So, uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that temptation part uh, later on. But today was definitely about you know yesterday was about preparation. Today was about planning. Uh, you need to plan ahead to succeed in your journey for a healthier you. Uh, definitely, it was a big lesson for me uh, to today. So anyway, you guys, thank you. Sorry for being so late. I know I'm trying to do these uh, around 12 o'clock uh, time, uh, around lunchtime, but, you know, we were out shopping and buying stuff for uh, Santa uh, to see the kids' faces and that amazing moment, although uh, you know, they may not believe in him. Uh, but I always tell them to Santa, you got to keep him uh, in, in, in your heart. So hopefully we'll continue to be in their heart as we Santa comes in in a couple days. So, thank you guys. Appreciate your support. Uh, appreciate your uh, comments that you've made. Uh, and uh, so, I'll keep doing this every single day with the hopes that if I can make a change or an impact in one person's life to go through that journey to be a healthier them, uh, my job will be done with this. So, anyway, you guys have a great evening. Um, I'm sure many of us will be watching Christmas movies uh, tonight, so uh, be careful with what you snack and what you eat. Keep away from that eggnog, uh, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Good night.